This is a quick look at a Blade Runner's Alpha Mutant. We had Chuck G do five mutants for us um, a little while ago, and this one in particular we named the Alpha Mutant Fossil because of the unique finish that Chuck put on it at the request of the person who ended up getting it. Uh, this one in particular belongs to a fellow JD member, Conger. Uh, so I wanted to thank him t for sending this over to me so I could kind of take some uh, pictures of it and some video and uh, share it with the rest of the community. I got a few questions on it so I just wanted to cover them briefly. Uh, just real quickly, Alpha Mutants are basically, the, the Mutant series is basically a stock Alpha Beast model which is then given to particular um, a particular custom maker and then um, we, we basically just have them do their own creative uh, expression so to speak on on the knife you know we don't really have any particular direction for them to do anything we actually want them to kind of do their own thing and um, have a lot of their their own style manifested into the the alpha beast so this one in particular uh, was anodized a uh, purple and then this finish on the handles was put on it uh, it's really cool it's this chipped look that just goes throughout the entire handle I think the look really fits the, the whole vibe of the Alpha Bees and the name Fossil really just fits it because of uh, because that's kind of what it looks like, you know, it just looks like a looks like a Bali song fossil. Uh, Chuck went ahead and anodized it, and uh, it really came out cool because because of the way that the texturing of the handle is, some parts of it are purple, some parts of it came out kind of light blue, as you can see, and just depending on the way the the light hits it, it looks like it's almost um, glimmering. So, it's a very very cool. And as you can see, he actually hit the the spacer on um, on both sides. So even the spacer got it. And if you look here, even the pivots got that texturing too. So that's pretty cool. Just look, I think it looks really great on this on this knife. The blade grind is different from the the standard grind. Usually, um, the stock Alpha Beast has the spear point, which this uh. This this end here, this uh, swedge, is uh, full. Like like here, this will go all the way up here, and then the spear point kind of starts where the where this curve starts. So Chuck took this and he ground it back further, and he left this little sliver that just tapers down into the the profile of the blade, which is really cool. Very cool cool grind that he did. Every uh, grind that he did for the mutants is, is different. So this one, there's no other blade that's like this uh, for the Alpha Beast or any of the other Alpha Mutants. All the uh, grinds are, are unique to um, to each mutant, which is pretty cool. Um, some people ask me, does the texturing affect the uh, flipping? And does it make it grippier? Does it feel uncomfortable or is it comfortable? Uh, honestly, it just feels different. It's not. It doesn't make it any grippier. It didn't make flipping with it any different. It just, all, all you feel is this uh, you just feel the texturing, but it's still smooth, so it's not um, doesn't get stuck or anything. I know the, in the pictures and maybe even in this video, it looks like it provide more grip, but it's still pretty slick. So it's not really um, it's not any any grippier than the than the stock model or any other mutant. As far as um, do the mutants flip differently from the stock model? Uh, they're pretty much just customized from a aesthetic point. They're not really you know, it's still an alpha beast. It just it's modified and done in a special way. You know, so the the handling is pretty much identical to the stock model. Um, there may be a slight, slight, and I'm I'm talking a very very slight difference in in weight or balance, just because more material was grinded off here on the blade and some on the handles in this particular model. Uh, Matt Cook did the very first mutant for us, which um, if you guys haven't seen the video, it's the uh, Alpha Mutant HD video. We called that one the Alpha Mutant Refraction. Matt actually rounded the handles off completely. So there's instead of having the uh, the beveled edge here, it's just round. And then he 
he took the the blade and pretty much gave it almost like a double blade, excuse me, double edge look and took it all the way back here. I did notice that model in particular felt like it was a little bit lighter and I just think because he, he did take off a, a bit of material on all four handles and the blade was really, really ground down. So that one might have differed a little bit and that one might have differed in the way it felt just because the shape of the handle was different. It was very uh, sleek, like how Matt Cook does all his knives. So that one might have been a little bit different, but overall the mutants, um, overall the mutants are pretty much the stock model, just with a, a very unique and uh, cool finish done to them. And we try to make them all one of a kind. So that is the Alpha Mutant Fossil done by Chuck G. Hope you guys enjoyed a uh, kind of a closer look at it. Uh, we will start having uh, exclusive content on the Blade Runners YouTube channel. I've been mirroring, uh, excuse me, mirroring the some of the content on my channel and on that channel, just because there's, uh, that channel just started. So, uh, but eventually that channel will get some exclusive content, and, and we do have a lot of stuff in the works for you guys. So thanks for watching this one. If there's any questions or um, uh, comments, you know, leave them below. And hopefully we'll be uh, updating you guys soon with some, some more model information. Thanks for watching.